Okay, so here's the very problem with the United Nations, yes. Uh, but it's like everything. So now that people have seen that what happened on January 6th wasn't Trump supporters, it was people that were agency people dressed up in MAGA hats and other gear um, that were deliberately doing what they did. I mean, that shouldn't come as a surprise. The FBI was controlling Twitter that's been totally proven. Elon Musk uh, released all the emails. So do you think it's such a far stretch that the FBI put on MAGA hats and MAGA shirts and decided to usher in a bunch of innocent patriots that were just, that's why Trucker showed how they were just walking through there? Yeah. So what happens here is this is why um, having groups kind of sucks because somebody will come in and infiltrate them like a union, except a union is out there with it. But, you know, say you and your friends want to get some work thing together and you start talking about it. The next thing you know, somebody you never met comes along. Hey, I can help you. Let me let me help you get that union going. And, you know, I'll just take some of your money kind of thing. Yeah, totally the mob kind of thing. Yeah, it is. So this is the problem with all these organizations. And this goes back to the very beginning. That's why Catholicism, it's not rooted on, it's, so let me put it this way. If Jesus walked the earth today, he would bypass every denomination and practically every church. Yeah, all the denominations for sure. Um, Because they got into denominations to begin with. Um, but um, also, most of the churches, especially the raptured ones that think they're being raptured, because it's just following what somebody at a podium says to you. What did Jesus do when he walked the earth to begin with? He didn't want, he 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 engaged with the leaders of the church, but that's not who he went to because he knew they wouldn't hear him. It would be the same thing today. The people like that run Rome. Um, like one of the uh, permanent seats at the UN is the Holy See. Yes, the Holy See, who's not holy and cannot see, is unholy and is blind. Not literally, but that's what I'm going to describe them as because they are not a holy see. And there's just all this, like, the uh, here, I'll just read read what it says. I don't buy it. I think it, just like today, back then, People infiltrated it, your Roman Empire, because we're still living under the Roman Empire. At the United Nations, they have the Eastern Roman Empire, the Western Roman Empire, or I'm sorry, under the Holy See. They have the Eastern Roman Empire or Western Roman Empire outside the Roman Empire. We are all still under the Roman Empire. And under the um, Holy See, which I would say the unholy blind, um, is the Apostle C, Papal Primacy, Donation of Sutri, Donation of Pepin, Papal States, Prisoner in the Vatican, and Vatican City. What the hell is all that? Like, this is the reason Jesus would, like, be like, yeah, you just damned the whole church. <laughs> really, this is totally... And, and what's really a red flag here to me is this donation of sutri it has under here so it says the territory in duchy of rome by lombard king luprand ludeprand some king but duchy of rome you know one of the secret or a couple of the secret societies i forget out of which university wasn't yale maybe it was duke has the duchy it's the uh white duchy i think it is there's a couple of duchies so that's a red flag to me. Secret societies, mob. This is probably all syndicate. So it's your Roman Empire that said, oh, yes, we believe in Jesus. And um, we're following, uh, what was it, Peter? What is their story? So their story is, according to Catholic tradition, it was founded in the first century by St. Peter's and Paul. And by virtue of the doctrines of Patrine and papal primacy is the focal point of full communion for Catholic Christians around the world. As a sovereign entity, the Holy See is headquartered in, operates from, and exercises exclusive dominion over the independent Vatican City state enclave in Rome, of which the Pope is sovereign. No, the Pope is nothing. Um, so when um, God created it all, he didn't say dominion belongs to the Pope. No, it's pretty clear in the Bible. Dominion belongs to man. 
not the Pope, but your Roman Empire types that really, you know, say they believe in the Bible, but probably don't, or maybe they did, but they're just willing to bend whichever way, you know, the money rolls, um, would get in, you know, your, your, your mobster types. It is. They create all these layers, just like our government. Like, how can any people, the innocent or not innocent, but just our everyday people of any country, have any voice at all when you have so many layers at the United Nations? That's the other reason. Like, anybody that would want to keep the United Nations in place, it's like, then you just want to continue to keep people oppressed. You do. Because there's so many layers to them, you how can they ever see you? And then they want to go global and come together. It's like you'll be lost in that sea of mess because the only people that care about that global agenda is communists who maybe follow a faith, but really they're probably following a faith where they don't mind sacrificing people because they clearly don't care about trampling all over their sovereignty. As much as um, the unions um, that aligned with the United Nations and these professional organizations say, no, the United Nations, they're, they're not taking away your sovereignty, then you're stupid people, especially if you're in nursing. Yeah. Um, do you really think that's true? They're going to say that just to get the global agenda. And then guess what? They'll take your sovereignty anyway. So if you're that stupid, you probably shouldn't be the head of any professional organization. But you really shouldn't be just because, um, you know, you got on board with traffickers. But I know I keep bringing it up because it's kind of an important thing, in my opinion. It's nursing. It's like we're, we, we have lives in our hands. But... Anyway, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get off track. Obviously, that you can see that's just a, a thorn in my side. I'm just, it, it infuriates me, these people. Because the more I read about the United Nations, the more it, I question why the hell anybody would get on. I mean, I, I knew years ago, but why anybody that's supposedly educated and an expert in my field and has all those, why they would do this? And I, I think it's it's either one or two reasons. They're stupid. Um or they're just corrupt, in which case I look at corrupt people as rather stupid too. But um, anyway, so, and the whole role of the United Nations was to maintain international peace. They haven't been around that long. They've been around since 1945. It was after World War II. They do not maintain international peace. They just traffic. That's always what they've done because and it, they say it's to keep peace among nations. And you can try to look at it like, oh, this is a good thing. No, these are people that are coming all from different countries with different cultures. There's no way everybody's going to come to the middle. But this is a great way to get a bunch of corrupt people in there. And then you get to the place we're at now. That's the reason why they never should have been created. It would have... Um, if they would have never been created, um, country sovereignty would be more protected. So, um, yeah, the Holy See, this, I mean, there's so much, the Holy Roman Empire, I've done so many videos on them. This is all just syndicate type stuff. The Holy See, also called the See of Rome, is the jurisdiction of the Pope in his role as Bishop of Rome. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't acknowledge him. I don't care. I don't care what he sees himself as uh, sovereign over. He, uh, he's the. They have not been doing good things. They should have, if they knew the Bible truly well, then they would know that there shouldn't be all this these layers to the church. They shouldn't be wearing their big hats and robes. Uh, Jesus outright said, "Look at them in the marketplace." I mean, um, you know, they are the money changers. Uh, so yeah. Jesus would, um, he would condemn the Catholic Church, in my opinion, but I think he would condemn all the churches. They're no different than when he walked the earth, except that I think the second time he comes, he will be coming with wrath for every church. I think that's why there's the warning to the churches. The churches really shouldn't take that lightly. Yeah, because just like when Jesus walked the earth, I, I think that Jesus would go to the nobodies uh, because they would hear him the same way. All the disciples did back when Jesus came the first time. But the second time Jesus comes, um, you know, the popes, they may want to get those hats off because I have a feeling, you know, they'll just be flying off otherwise. <laughs> Stupid. It's ridiculous. This uh, We should never have had any of all these layers in our government nor in any kind of church. Stick with the Bible and your relationship with God and you're golden.